Iga Swiatek won her fourth French Open title on Saturday. Serena Williams's former coach was spot on with her Iga Swiatek prediction after the world number one found herself in trouble in the second round. Swiatek saved a match point against Naomi Osaka early in the tournament before storming through the draw and barely dropping games en route to her fourth French Open title. And Renee Stubbs knew how things would pan out for Swiatek after she almost crashed out in week one. Swiatek and Osaka played one of the most memorable matches of the fortnight at Roland Garros, lasting almost three hours. After Swiatek took a close opening set in a tiebreak, the former world number one flipped the script and stormed through the second set 6-1. Osaka raced into a 5-2 lead and had a match point on her serve. But the top seed saved it and won the last five games in a row to come through 7-6-1, 1-6-7-5. It proved to be a turning point in the competition for Swiatek, who didn't drop another set. After the 23-year-old lifted her fourth French Open trophy on Saturday, top tennis coach Stubbs reminded the tennis world that she predicted Swiatek's run after that epic match. I think I may have nailed this prediction. Congrats at Iga underscore Swiatek and team. Serena Williams's former mentor wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter, reposting her original tweet. On May 29th, when Swiatek survived the Osaka test, Stubbs wrote, that was an amazing match. The forehand that Naomi missed serving for the match up 30-15 to, to go up two match points is one she is going to see in her sleep, nightmares, tonight. After this win, I think IGA now just plows through everyone else after that match. And her prediction caught Swiatek's eye. The world number one replied with a Kermit the Frog gif after winning her fifth Grand Slam title on Saturday. Had ya back. Stubbs responded. Swiatek also addressed her second round match after defeating Jasmine Paolini in 68 minutes in the final. Asked if her survival gave her extra confidence, she said, Well, for sure it gives me the feeling that I should always believe in myself, that I can find my tennis even if I am in big trouble, you know, and with this tennis, fight back. It gives me confidence. And well see. I'll always try my best no matter what the score is. Sometimes it's going to add up like that. Sometimes I am gonna lose. But when you're trying your best, it's always the best solution, because you have no regrets and, you know, you can turn tournaments into something like that.